On this field here, we're looking at uh, uh, how we're irrigating soybeans. This is also part of the soybean research verification program. And so we split the field in half and two divisions. One, we're using the Arkansas Irrigation Scheduler, and it's following the, the research verification program recommendations. On the other side, the only difference we've made is we're using an atmometer uh, to, to schedule the irrigation on the other side. An atmometer is a really nice uh, tool to help understand uh, so, uh, evapotranspiration. So I've got an atmometer up here. We're working on... Uh, have some of these charts. I'll just pass them around. You can just kind of look at them, but you only have one. Basically, uh, you, you look up what kind of soil you have, and and then you reference off the stage of the crop growth, and you can set your deficit. That's our trigger point for irrigation. And these basically uh, have to have a canvas and ceramic plate on top, and this has been developed to mimic the evapotranspiration from the leaf surface. So this is experiencing the same ET that the plant the plant is so that's basically what it's doing so here we started it uh, when after we irrigated last and it's full and we haven't had a lot of ET and when the liquid level gets to this mark that's our trigger point for irrigation but so if it rains uh, we just slide say it rains a half inch and it all went in we would just slide our ring down a half inch to uh, account for that precipitation if it rained a lot more than that some of it ran off you got to make a judgment call about how much but it really lets you know where you're at with pass around where you're at in the soil profile when your trigger point okay, is next for irrigation so uh, so this is one technique that we're using that we're that we're piloting to see if it's different than using the Arkansas irrigation schedule which has been around for since since the mid 80s